the elites and their enemies. That's our show tonight. John we all love to complain about elites, the people who seem to have a special advantage, privileges in life. I think about those rich people who go to the fancy parties that appear in the style sections of our newspapers. And the spoiled rich kids who party all night. I resent them because I don't think most worked for their wealth. They don't contribute. Still. Those elites are mostly harmless. But there's one group of truly dangerous elites, the politicians who have power over others. The spoiled party kids may have stupid ideas, but they can't impose them on the rest of us. But politicians can. Politicians get to use force, government force. And like the old Soviet tyrants with their five-year plans, American politicians have plans for us. For example, Hillary Clinton thinks it's her job to create jobs. I've put forward specific plans about how we're going to create more good paying jobs. We are going to create them. She doesn't understand that productive, good paying jobs come from a free economy, not from central planning. Republicans have their grand plans, too. I've had a plan. And now we're working on another plan. So how many plans do I got to do, right, before people understand that we will have a plan? Yuck. I'm, I kind of like Kasich, but I don't want a politician to plan my life. Free people do better when we run our own lives. I want politicians to keep us safe, but to stay out of our lives as much as possible. And one senator running for president, I think, stands for that. Uh, that's Rand Paul. Absolutely. In fact, you know, one of the things I always say is that the Soviet Union was brought down because they couldn't determine one simple thing, the price of bread. They had all these planners, but nobody can determine the price of bread, only the market can. If you set the price too low, bread's all gone. You set the price too high, it rots on the shelves. But only the market can figure out the perfect price of bread that gets to the most amount of people. And people don't realize this, this sort of invisible hand of capitalism, how it creates great wealth and then distributes it to so many people. And there's a danger because we have one candidate actually running on a platform of socialism in our country. And they applaud Bernie Sanders and people applauded in the audience when he said, what's wrong with socialism? It's working in Europe. What do you say to that? Well, I would say that within socialism, there's the inherent uh, implied force or violence. And I tell people, I no, go to college. No, says Bernie, it's just we're going to take care of the poor. Yeah. I tell people there's nothing sexy or cool about socialism. It is implied violence. And it's not accidental that throughout history, when we've had socialist regimes, often they've ended in violence, often in mass violence towards people. How is it implied violence? It's implied violence because they take away your choices. So, for example, if you want to sell bread, they won't let you sell bread unless you have the official imprimatur of the state or unless the state owns the bread company. If I want to buy bread from you, they won't let me buy it from you either. So our choice as consumers is taken away. And I think there's an irony here because many of these people say, oh, no, no, I'm pro-choice. No, no, they're very anti-choice when it comes to market decisions. They're the anti-choice party, but that's what socialism is. And markets have provided us with so much good stuff. I thought your message would resonate with people. I was for you, am for you, but you're getting killed in the polls. Well, Why? it's not over yet. <laughs> which, which, uh, <laughs> That's we right. haven't even gotten to the voting yet. Come on now. All right. No, I think that uh, we don't know what's going to happen yet. And I think there are many more people out there who are supportive of libertarian or free market ideals that uh, are going to come forward. I thought people would say, Gee, I don't like all this command and control. I don't like bombing all these other countries. This Rand Paul guy is making sense. But I don't think people know yet because there's been sort of a celebrity skew, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> to the race. And nobody, I've noticed. nobody quite knows exactly what economic system that celebrity is for. But trust him because he's smart and all-powerful and give him more power and he'll fix everything. But really, there's a long-standing tradition in our country, really going back even through England, probably to the Magna Carta on, of trying to limit power, of people who think that too much power in the hands of any individual, even a benign... Even Donald Trump? Even a benign autocrat like Trump, that maybe it might not be so good to have so much power in the hands of one person. 
Well, I'm glad you call him benign. I'm surprised perhaps, you call him perhaps benign. benign. Now, you, in your time as senator, have pushed back against the Washington elites. You filibustered the NSA spying and lying about spying, and uh, you produced proposed budgets that actually cut spending instead of just slowing the growth. This was fairly radical to get people's attention about that. He made this video where he takes a chainsaw to the tax code. Hey, I'm Rand Paul, and I'm trying to kill the tax code, all 70,000 pages of it. So I like that, obviously, but did you steal that idea from me? Because two years ago, I did the same kind of thing. Let's see. You know what? I think ours was better because we had Jimi Hendrix playing in the background of ours. Well, yours may be better, and it's you can steal from me all you want. Most everybody in America knows they can't spend more than comes in with their paycheck. And I think they are upset by a government that borrows a million dollars a minute. And you have to relate it also to their ability to make a living. What I really find is that there are very few, if any, fiscal conservatives in Washington because on the right you have people who are liberal with military spending, and on the left you have people who are liberal with welfare spending, and guess what? They get together and they spend money on everything. And so really the only compromise in Washington is right and left get together and they get what they want, more money spent. You've talked about President Obama has been passing out loans to campaign donors. Solyndra was a company they gave $534 million to. Just so happens that the person who received the money was a billionaire and one of the 20th richest men in America and just so happens was a big bundler and contributor for President Obama. So yeah, I think one side does it, but then the other side does it when they get in power. The feds gave money for a motion pictures museum. The Oscar people, they can't buy their own museum? We just discovered last week that they spent $800,000 developing televised cricket league for Afghanistan. I can give you a thousand of these. I mean, we have listed a lot of these in our way. Why don't they stop then? Because I think the voters spending, would... spending continues and goes on forever and never stops. But we do have the power. And this is what annoys people. We have a Republican Congress. House and Senate. Republicans like to say, oh, it's all the big spending Democrats. It's both. It's big spending Democrats and big spending Republicans. And maybe that's what the public wants. Well, I think the, the public doesn't want the disaster that comes with this. They don't know about the disaster. Well, 2008, we had a panic. We had a near disaster. And we can have that again if you continue with this. We are an over-leveraged system and eventually people 2008, the disaster you're referring to is the popping of the housing bubble. Right. But that was created by over-leveraging the system, Federal Reserve policy, keeping interest rates so low that everybody thought, keep building, keep building, and no feedback loop of interest rates rising to slow things down. And I blame that on the Fed, frankly. And I think Fed policy got us into the, the panic of 2008. But it's a little bit interrelated to deficit spending because we pay off our debts with cheap money, with low interest rates. So the Fed allows an accommodation of a large debt. They are, they are hand in glove together. No money to pay for the old people, no money in people's bank accounts. If you destroy the currency, that's what happens. Two minor points I'd like to end with. Uh, it bothers me when politicians and media people say this about the president, whoever that will be. His job is to run the country. You hired this guy to run the country. Rise up and elect responsible people to run the country. I didn't know that you guys ran the country. I thought we free people around here ran the country and you run the government. And that's why, you know, my candidacy is a bit of an anomaly because I'm not running to run the economy or the country. In fact, I say I'm running to give power back to the people. I think the real problem is we try to run too many things in the economy and we have accumulated so much power in the executive branch that we're disturbing the normal market forces that do create wealth. You bet. And a final point, to help you bring these ideas to more people, his staff is trying new technology like live streaming, having a camera follow him all day. And uh, on this one day, you didn't sound like you thought it was a good idea. Here's a clip. The third question, most popular question from Google is, is Rand Paul still running for president? And uh, I don't know, I wouldn't be doing this dumbass live streaming if I weren't. So yes, I still am running for president. Get over it. <laughs> I find that refreshing. <laughs> well, you know what we're going to do? It was so popular. We're going to do dumbass live streaming, the sequel. 
So you wait for it. People are excited about this. We we actually sell T-shirts. You can get a T-shirt that says, I watched the live streaming. All I got was this dumbass T-shirt. Thank you, Senator Rand Paul, on that note.